Hello my family members, I hope all of you are fine and preparing well for upcoming on-campus and off-campus drives. Today for your convenience, I brought common application and MS Office questions that was asked in Accenture off-campus exam on 27th June and 22nd July as well. So if you are preparing for Accenture off-campus or on-campus, then keep watching till the end right before starting i would request you to watch the previous videos on ms office that was also very informative and very important please watch that link is in the description box and please subscribe this channel to get such videos okay let's start So the first question is, if the formula V lookup 60,000 A2 is 2 D6, 2 true is applied in cell B8, what would be the outcome? I hope this image is visible to you. Uh, if not, then kindly make your resolution 1080p, right? Okay, let me clear it that the 60,000 in this formula is the value that you are looking up in the first column of the range a2 to d6 right and a2 is to d6 it is the uh, range of cells where the data is located right and 2 which specifies that you want to retrieve the value from column 2 only right that means uh, the value or the output will be among these column values right and the true it is actually indicating that you want an approximate match this means that if an exact match is not found then so either similar or closest matches that means that the closest match of 60,000 is among them 57,892, right? And it will give the output from second column, right? So output will be Indian specific, right? So I hope you have got the answer, right? And uh, if you still uh, facing some problem, then let me know, right? And this is very important. Uh, v lookup, H lookup, right? You have to know that. Okay. And it it was actually the B8 actually. So here the value Indian specific will be printed, right? Okay. Let's go to a quiz question that is for you and actually sharpen your brain or nurture your brain by quiz and enhance your problem solving ability right so in which of the following application you cannot run spell check is very easy question and uh, you should know this right which of the following application you cannot run spell check uh, let's read the next question that is which of the following selection option is included in the paint is or are included in the paint rectangular selection free form selection and circular selection one and three one and two one two three and two and three let me show you that uh it is the paint option right here here selection option here rectangular selection is available free form selection is available but uh, circular selection is not available right so one i mean uh rectangular option and free from option selection actually available so right answer will be b right one and two so let's go to the next question that is the snapping tool automatically saves your screenshots take the screenshots of only active windows takes the screenshots only in rectangular format what are the correct options one two three or one two or two three like this right so let me show you that if you just uh, tr started trying to screenshot i mean snip your uh, screen 
then you will have a rectangular mode right you will have a free mode that means you you, you don't only have rectangular format right you have free form i mean circular or lasso form right and you can screenshot your full active uh, i mean full active screen right and you can screenshot your i mean when you take screenshots then it automatically saved right so all the options should be right guys if you think uh, any other explanation kindly let me know that right okay let's go to the next question in ms word if you have to indent the paragraph then which of the following shortcut key you should use what will be the answer think it and give me the answer the answer will be alt plus m i am explaining actually what control plus i do in ms word it is the shortcut key which is used to italicize the selected text right and alt plus m this actually uh, helps to indent the paragraph right and these are alt i and control m that does not related to oh, that shortcut key right okay let's go to a quiz question for you that is in ms word if you have to move the cursor one screen down then which of the following shortcut key you should use only page down or alt page down or only down arrow key or control down arrow key what will you use just think it and give me the answer in the comment box right okay let's go to the next question what is landscape in word or any ms application a font style a paper size a page layout a page orientation or none of the above don't waste time in such question because it is very easy so i am just answering the question right so the answer will be page orientation right okay let's go to a question for you that is which of the following is not a font style bold manuscript italic regular etc yeah uh, you i just have to i just don't have to answer this but if you just once i mean once in a life if you opened ms word then you should have answer in your mind right okay let's go to uh, another question that is which of the following functions is used to create a drop down box in selected cells data conditional formatting data data validation pivot table data to filter the answer will be these right data data validation uh, actually data validation is a feature in microsoft excel that allows you to define certain rules and restriction for the data that can be entered into a cell or range of cells right it helps ensure that the in data entered in a worksheet is accurate consistent and follows specific criteria and among them among all of the common use data validation is to create a drop down list which actually helps user to choose options very easily right this this is our next question and the last quiz for you and last question for this session as well which of these functions is used to land into a specific location of document snapchat gmail all of the mentioned above or facebook uh, guys the last four questions were from 22nd july and the first questions were from uh, 28 27th uh, i think 28th june right so i hope uh, you will answer all of the quiz uh, and i will give you love and if you have any problem then let me know that right so i hope you have learned a little from this session if you want more such videos kindly subscribe and like this video uh, before ending 
I would request you to please watch the previous MS Word, MS Office videos. Like link is in the description box. Okay, watch that. See you till the next video. Thank you.